Well, welcome. Today we are gathered together for a very special and joyous occasion, and that is to witness and bless the joining of Jonathan and Kaylee in marriage. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people. It's a union founded on love. Jonathan, if I could ask you to take your bride's bouquet and just carefully place it on the rock, and then I'll have you join both of each other's hands. Perfect. And I asked you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you're making here this afternoon. And I want you to think about the hands that you're holding because these are the hands of your very best friend holding your hands on your wedding day, promising to love you and work with you as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength, tenderness when you need tenderness, and love when you need love. These are the hands that will also hold all of whom you love. And these are the hands that through your lifetime together will wipe tears of sorrow from your eyes, but hopefully many, many more tears of joy. And these are the hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands, still seeking the love, encouragement, and support that each of you will give to one another. All of these things have brought you all the way to Valley of Fire to the beautiful seven sisters all ready to say your marriage vows to one another. And it's important to understand that these vows cannot be made lightly, and I'm sure the two of you realize this. These vows need to be made with a great deal of consideration and respect. With that thought in mind, Jonathan, I have a question for you. Do you take Kaylee to be your wife, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Then please repeat after me, I, Jonathan, take you, Kaylee, to be my wife. I, Jonathan, take you, Kaylee, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And I will love you forever. And now, Jonathan, I believe you would like to say some additional things to your bride. Kaylee, thank you very much for putting up with me over the past seven years. I know it hasn't always been an easy ride, but I'm just absolutely grateful that we're here now. I'm looking forward to our future. Kaylee, are you ready to say your marriage vows? I am. Then I also have a question for you. Do you take Jonathan to be your husband, to live together in marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Then please repeat after me. I, Kaylee, take you, Jonathan, to be my husband. I, Kaylee, take thee, Jonathan, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And I will love you forever. And now, Kaylee, here's your opportunity to say some additional things to your groom. I would like to say thank you, Jonathan, for asking me to be your wife. And that we're here today to enjoy this lovely place. It will obviously very special for us. And I promise that I will love you and be there to support you forever and always. And to know that I always have your back and no secrets and no lies. Perfect. And now if I can have you each carefully hold one another's wedding ring for a moment and we'll talk about the wedding rings. time the wedding ring has been a symbol of unending love because like time your rings have no beginning and no end they're the emblem of eternity they're also made of metals that are least likely to tarnish these things symbolize the pledges that you just finished making to one another here today but above all else your wedding rings will now be an outward and visible sign signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in marriage Jonathan please place Kaylee's ring on her finger Hold it there and repeat after me. Kaylee, I give you this ring. Kaylee, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Perfect. Looks like you have it all the way on. <laughs> 
Kaylee, your turn. Please place Jonathan's ring on his finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Jonathan, I give you this ring. Jonathan, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. You can slide it all the way on. It helps okay. It's hard when it's a little bit warm. Perfect. Jonathan, I'll have you give your bride her bouquet back, and then I'll have the two of you turn and uh, face me the way we started. There we go. <laughs> Jonathan and Kaylee, in just a moment, I'm going to pronounce you husband and wife. Before I do that, I like to say a couple brief things about marriage. They may be brief, but they're good things to keep in mind. Marriage is being in love for the rest of your life. It's love walking arm in arm with your very best friend. It's thinking of new things to do together. It's laughing about the silly things in life with care and tenderness. It's trusting each other even though from time to time the two of you may be very far apart. It's the realization there's no one else in the world you'd rather be with. Certainly no one else you'd rather be married to. It's growing old together, but most of all, marriage is being in love for the rest of your life. Jonathan and Kaylee, you've said your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by those of us here today. You've sealed those vows with the giving and the receiving of the wedding rings. So now it's my very great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. And Jonathan, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Congratulations, and I'd like to present Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Griffiths. Congratulations. One more kiss. Oh, <laughs>